Hello and welcome to episode 22 of Let's Play Planet Coaster Project Globe Explorer here on Theme Park Worldwide. Now in this episode I'm going to be working on the themed area that's all around the outside of the dark ride that I built in episode 21. Along with that I'll be completing the area and also showing you a POV of the dark ride towards the end of the video. But first I've got some explaining to do because I've had a complete change of heart with this area and some of you may have noticed already with the the title of the video that have changed what this area is going to be based on so if you've seen episode 21 you'll know that I was struggling a little bit with the theming and exactly what to put in with it being based on Antarctica and I did quite a lot of research into Antarctica itself I knew that it didn't have trees and all that kind of stuff but as I was building the dark ride I, you know I, I was really struggling thinking well I don't really want to put trees in I just want to use buildings and then it was starting to look a bit empty and then I started going down the route of putting in these log cabins and stuff and I thought you know what I really like what I've done with the dark ride but it's not Antarctica is it you know it's more like the Arctic so I, I, literally I was ch thinking all this in my head and then some comments I was reading from people saying you know they love the area but it's not really Antarctica so I thought you know what I'm gonna have a complete change of heart with it I'm not gonna change what I've done with the dark ride because I really like it but we're still at the stage where the rest of the area isn't complete yet we've just got this big gray and blue box so I can change what the area is about and that is what I've done so the area will now be known as the Arctic instead of Antarctica and of course there's a huge difference um, you know the Arctic covers various different countries and that all sort of go into that a lot of like the colder countries like Sweden Sweden, Finland, Russia, you know, all form part of it. And um, so I thought, you know what, let's go with that sort of uh, feel with this one. Instead of going f to pick one of those individual countries, let's just go, you know, for, for the Arctic, you know, this Arctic themed area. And that fits now with all the uh, log cabins. We can still have this building uh, with its main theme as a research sort of testing facility. And I've picked a name and a fantastic storyline that you guys have come up with. And I thought, yeah, it just works a lot better with all the snow covered trees that you can see. See I'm putting in here, um, all the snow, rocks, ice that we're putting into the area. I just thought it worked a lot better because I loved what I did with the dark ride, but it just needed, you know, it just didn't fit with Antarctica. It is more like the Arctic. And then I thought, well, do I maybe, you know, think about sending it into Russia or Sweden or Finland or something like that? And then I thought, no, let's go for the Arctic in general. We've got Africa that, you know, isn't obviously a country. That's a, a continent based on various different countries. So I thought we can kind of do the same idea with this and just keep it quite vague and it's known as the Arctic but there you go so it shows doesn't it I'll always read the comments and listen to feedback um, so yeah I'm, I'm hoping really that this is going to turn out a lot better now and fit a lot better with an Arctic style feel. So um, here we go. Yeah, let's uh, talk about what I've just done over the past couple of minutes. Two new rides have gone in, um, which is awesome. Uh, as you can see, we've put in an Enterprise attraction as well. Uh, and we've also got a, a gyro swing in there as well. Um, that's will swing out over the area and towards the lake as well. So it forms a really nice sort of entrance ride, entrance structure into the Arctic themed area. Uh, now, of course, the area itself is going to be relatively small. The highlight is this big dark ride that has been really, I really thought about the placement of it with, with the area uh, because I wanted the Giga Coaster to sort of stand high above it in the backdrop. You've got to think this area, you know, when you've got a Giga Coaster behind it, it's got a blue colour scheme. You've really got to think about the area and how it's all going to come together. As it'll look silly having that huge coaster right behind it. So luckily with the colour schemes of this area and having the coaster behind it, that all fits in. Even though that's part of the New York area, um, it, it fits in with this as well. So uh, that's exactly what I wanted to make sure that I did. Now it's about adding all sorts of other details onto the exterior of the building. And of course, we've already said what the theme was going to be, um, like this research facility. Um, and, and that's stuck through. Like I say, I had a change of heart with what it's based on. However, um, the, the dark ride itself hasn't really changed that much, you know, in terms of what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, the storyline is exactly the same, except we're in the Arctic now instead of Antarctica. So, um, you know, it just made a lot more sense to me changing it as the area was developing, uh, as the dark ride was developing sorry I thought you know it'd make a lot more sense before I start building the rest of the area because I wanted trees covered in snow and I wanted log cabins and stuff on the on the inside you know that's that's what I wanted to go for it looked pretty and you know that's what I'm all about making it look good this park you know and so I thought well 
let, let's have the, this change and I think it'll work a lot better and I've done a lot of research into it all and I thought you know what it'd be the right move for us to go for but uh, anyway shall I reveal uh, the name and the storyline for this dark ride so we've had loads and loads of comments literally hundreds of suggestions coming in not just on YouTube but also on our social media channels as well so uh, thank you to everyone who has sent in a name suggestion and also a storyline and theme for this ride I, I, I put it down to about 10 that I really really liked and I, to be honest I struggled so much um, to pick uh, but there's one that really shined through a lot of people were also commenting on it and seemed like they really liked it um, yeah, and I thought you know what I'm going to go for it. So um, here we go. This is what I've chosen. So this dark ride within the Arctic themed area. A big thank you to the YouTube user Finn Piggy for this one. The ride is going to be called Project Snowstorm. I just thought it, it fit really well with what I've built. Project Snowstorm. And here's the, the storyline behind it. So a research facility ran by a company called Snowcorp have started a project to introduce boat tours through the rivers for tourists. On their first tour, disaster strikes as a massive snowstorm hits, causing fires and leading to some of the snow slightly melting. As the snow melts, the boat storms down a mountain of snow in an avalanche. You are then returned to safety as Snowcorp are forced to plan a new way to conduct the tours in a more safe way. How awesome is that storyline? I'm loving it. Project Snowstorm. It's coming together really, really well now. We've got a name, working on the exterior and the facade to this, and now just adding some details on the roof. This is mainly just so people on the Giga Coaster don't just look down and see a massive bland warehouse. You know, I wanted to add a bit of theming on there, uh, onto the roof. It's something that most parks don't do, to be honest, even Disney in a lot of places, but with us having a massive coaster behind it, I just wanted to add a little bit of theming on the top, so... Um, it didn't sort of ruin the, the beauty of the area, you know, looking out towards the water. Uh, but yeah, Project Snowstorm, what a name. I just think it works really, really well um, with that one. Now, as you can see, I'm starting to add these various flat panels of snow throughout the area. Now, I said in the last episode that I wasn't actually able to spray uh, all of the terrain with snow. Um, I was wrong. Like, you actually can do. You can change a setting, um, which means that you have to swap out another one of the, the colours to paint on the ground but you can put snow in so anyway I thought oh okay fantastic I'll have a little go with that um, I wouldn't have known because this is the first time I've ever done anything snowy in the game you see so I wouldn't have known but I swapped it out started to do it and then the FPS of the the game went right down so I thought yeah this isn't gonna work so <laughs> I decided to go against it and I swapped it back I, I just took out one of the grassy terrains that I wasn't using so I thought I'm gonna swap it back and just use the panels um, instead and be a bit more creative with the trees I thought well I'm gonna be putting trees in now we've changed the area uh, where we can have more trees um, so yeah let's go with that so that's exactly what I did. Um, so yeah, I decided to put down the snow panels instead and use a combination of rocks and stuff to do that. Of course, putting in a snowy area, there is a reason why I've never really done anything like this before. And that's because of fitting it in with a park. Like I've never been a huge fan. I'm not even just talking about Planet Coaster. Even going back to like Roller Coaster Tycoon and stuff, I was never a big fan of putting in areas with a, a really cold climate with snow. Uh, I just didn't th think it fit really well. So that's why I've built a berm at either side. Uh, a berm is basically a piece of land that you'll put up at the side and create like a hill or a mound um, just stopping the, the sight lines really from being destroyed and that's what I've gone with here so I've put this berm in at the back of this building that I'm working on here uh, and there's also a berm on the other side that faces out towards New York so we're planting all these trees that have got the, the snow on in front of those of course it'll all be fake snow anyway you know because it's not a, a, a it's not real is it you know we're not actually in a cold climate you know um, of course, with this one, uh, we're putting all these trees in here and then we'll put some other trees that haven't got snow a little bit further back on top of the berm. So it means from the outside of the area, you, you can't tell that there's a massive snowy area um, in there at all. The only place you'll see it is from out on the water. And of course, there's no rides out on the water. Um, and, and that was intentional, you know, to make sure you don't sort of see the areas look at, looking into them that way. Um, so yeah, you know, I wanted to make sure that it's as immersive as it can be from the different areas. And like I said, I've never been a big fan of doing a snow-based area. Um, and I thought, well, if we're doing it, I want to try and hide it from the other areas so it doesn't ruin it. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, it's coming together quite 
quite well. Using these panels and stuff actually worked out quite well because uh, I, I had to be a bit more creative. So like I say, you know, I did try changing the terrain and you can do it, um, but like I say, the computer just wouldn't handle it. The FPS went right down. I mean, it's already getting pretty low now, um, you know, but it's, yeah, it, it, it went ridiculously low <laughs> when I tried doing that one. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see what I'm doing with this now, just building it up gradually using rocks, the flat panels, and also uh, trees with snow on there as well. Project Snowstorm. Still can't get over that name. I love it. I think it just worked really, really well. Um, like Project Snowstorm. It just really stood out to me with that one. Oh, it's a fantastic name. Thanks again for coming up with that one. And of course, thank you to everyone that suggested names all throughout the series. I need a name um, for the gyro swing and also for the Enterprise as well. Um, so get them name suggestions coming in in the next few days uh, because there will be another episode released again within the next week. So make sure uh, that you do stay tuned for that. Here's what I was saying just about the berm, just putting on some trees on there now. Um, of course, you know, if we were really in a snowy climate, then, yeah, it wouldn't look like this at all because all the trees would have snow on, but... It's fake, isn't it? We're in a theme park. You know, this theme park, like I said back at the start, is based in the UK. So you can kind of say we've got a cold climate. I mean, our weather isn't amazing, is it? But uh, you're still not enough of snow all the, all the time. So... I thought let's just really think about the placement of trees and the way that we're going to do this uh, and put them all uh, around the top there so when you walk down that transition path um, into this area uh, you don't really know what's on the other side of it because uh, that's what it is like it's, it's no man's land really this path what I'm putting in and it's the first real path in the park that's like that um, but yeah it's like no man's land because you go out of the area and then under this berm into the Arctic so I thought well let's you know put this path in that is part of Antarctica really but it's not as well because the you've got these two uh, entrance signs so of course uh, originally it was going to be this Antarctica style entrance of course we've now changed it um, to the Arctic uh, but that still stands exactly how I was going to do it originally when it was Antarctica so you've got these two entrance signs here um, and then that will be the start of the area but you've also got this little transition path out the front that can connect straight from the Netherlands uh, themed area um, over to New York so you don't actually this is the only area really if you want to do a full loop around the lake you don't actually have to go directly into the area with this one because it's all set a little bit further back again that was all done intentional um, so it's set further back from the lake so it doesn't uh, cause any sightline issues from the other areas I don't want you to be um, sort of in the Netherlands area and look straight over and see loads of snow up against the water um, so I thought let's uh, all think about that and, and sight lines and stuff like that um, just to try and make it um, all that little bit better um, but yeah, you know, I'm really pleased how this area is coming together. It's a small area, um, but so is uh, Africa, really, you know, that I built a couple of episodes back. Um, but you know what? For considering the small areas, I'm really pleased, really, with how both of them have turned out. And as you can see, um, this area now is, is coming to, to the end. You know, I've nearly uh, finished working on this, and we've got to uh, get on board this ride shortly. And, and I'm going to show you a, a POV of the ride. Of course, I've done a little bit of voiceover for it, all to fit with the storyline and the name project snowstorm um, and all about this journey um, going around on this boat tour that goes a little bit wrong so you're about to hear all of that um, in a couple of minutes time and of course I'll show you a bit of footage of the area at night as well um, a lot of lighting going into the area as you can see here and um, that's like the final touch for me putting all the lighting in bins um, all the way around and also benches as well so um, yeah as you can see I'm really pleased with how it's come together it's quite a vibrant area um, it's quite nice actually having a snowy area for a change like I say it's different for me compared to what I'd normally go for um, but I'm, I'm pleased now it's turned out a little truck going in there as well I thought it'd just fill a bit of an empty gap we've got these helicopters um, going up there on the roof as well uh, just to finish it all off so uh, yeah should we have a little uh, a little look through the area and uh, and see how it looks so obviously you know we, we thought about sight lines and the coaster behind it and how all of that comes together I just wanted to make sure that I really thought about that especially with it being a snowy themed area um, so here we go there's a look at the area at night welcome to the Arctic at Atlas Adventure Resort so there you go got the Enterprise at the back we've got the uh, gyro swing here swinging out towards the lake looks great with the coaster behind as well doesn't it, it may add some more spotlight shining up at that at some point as well um, not too much because I, you know, I quite like the subtle approach but may do that at some point and add some more in here's a little bit of cinematic off-ride footage there so you can see that in action 
Oh yeah, swinging out towards the dark ride. I thought that, you know, produces a really nice sort of entrance sort of state for the area. And the good thing is with that, yes, it's painted blue, uh, but it doesn't directly relate to a snowy theme. Um, so when you see the gyro swing from the other areas swinging out, it kind of fits in a little bit more instead of directly, you know, seeing something else that, uh, you know, I didn't think would work. Yeah, swinging right over that path there. Really, really like that. And of course, I've added quite a lot of atmospheric lighting on the outside of the dark ride as well. You can see some uh, red flashing lights, some blue park hands all on there. Oh, look at the moon up there in the sky as well. Look even better from on ride. Here we go. Oh, yes. Beautiful views over New York. I really thought about the positioning of the Enterprise as well uh, with that one. Just so it sort of spins out towards the, the pathway. Beautiful, isn't it? There we go, there's the Enterprise in action. It's got a really nice feel, as you can see at night as well, like all them trees that aren't covered in snow on the berms at the side, um, you know, aren't lit up or anything like that. So it just means you, you're sort of focused on everything that's got lights on it in the area. It's got this really nice blue atmospheric glow to it, hasn't it? Let's have a little look from, from on ride. Awesome. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go on board the new dark ride now, Project Snowstorm. Here we go, I worked on it in the last episode. I've done a little bit more um, in this one on the exterior. Here we go, it's time to ride Project Snowstorm at Atlas Adventure Resort. Welcome to Snow Corp Expedition 001. Please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the exploration boat at all times. And remember, no flash photography. There's nothing else quite like it, is there? I'm Mike, and welcome to Snowcorp. May I introduce you to our prototype exploration boat, the RX-57. It's actually our first time out in the polar region using our new boats, but rest assured, Snowcorp are known by the locals as the safest way to travel through the area. These wooden cabins have been standing for many years, housing generations of residents here in the Arctic. We're now using our state-of-the-art technology to lift the boat up to the next river. We'll also be passing through a replica of our founder's log cabin. Lars Wellworth founded Snowcorp over 30 years ago. Without him, our research wouldn't be possible. Looks like we've made it to one of my favorite viewpoints. Welcome to the heart of the Arctic, everyone. Expedition 001, come in. There's a storm ahead. I repeat, there's a storm ahead. Um, thanks, base. Looks like we're too late to turn back down the river now. Um, keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat and just stay calm. would like to apologize for that slight scary moment we had back there with the avalanche. Now let's keep moving down the river and head back towards base. With what just happened with the storm, it really makes you appreciate our efforts to monitor the weather more and more. Here at Snowcorp, we work with local villages such as this one to monitor the weather conditions all across the Arctic. As we've seen today, the weather out here can be very unpredictable. It's important for us all to keep conducting tests here at the Snowcorp facility to help keep more people safe and try to prevent things like this from happening. 
Welcome back to base. Seems like our new boats need some slight tweaking before our next tour, but today you've really got to experience just how different life can be out here in the Arctic. I'm Mike, and thank you for joining us here at Snowcorp. Please gather your personal belongings and exit to the right. Thanks for joining us here at the Snowcorp facility. And there we have it! Thanks for joining me there for a ride on Project Snowstorm. Really pleased with how that came together. And the Arctic themed area is now complete. I'll be back very soon with episode 23, where we're going to start work on the entertainment district and also some more transportation outside of the theme park. Thanks for watching this week's episode, and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you next time!